Okay, good morning, folks. I'm a glutton for punishment, so we're going to try to do this outside again and see how it goes. With all those little people inside doing all of their schoolwork, I figure if I can be out here, it's probably best for everybody. So, um, maybe not me, but oh well. <laughs> okay, so on Tuesday, we ran through um, our exercises by 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 seconds, 60 seconds. Today, we're going to do a similar type of thing, but it's going to be by repetition. Yes, I decided to go ahead and do it. I don't really know why, but so we'll see how it works out. But So we're going to go through the exercises I give you. Good morning, Michelle. Um, 10 repetitions, 20, 30, 40, and then 50. We're not going to do 60. So, uh, so each one of these, you will go through it until we're just dead in the water, and then we'll say goodbye to it. Um, I definitely pick things that you can do. 50 times in a row so that you will uh, be able to succeed because that's what we want, right? We want you to succeed. So the exercises, some of them are cardio and some are um, strength-based. You will not necessarily need a weight. I am going to give you the option to use a weight if you want one. For instance, our second exercise is sit-ups. And I personally do like doing sit-ups with a weight, but you don't have to. Um, they are full sit-ups. So um, there's one exercise I do, I would like you to have a weight for, um, but it otherwise they're gonna be optional. And um, I really kind of think that's everything I have to tell you. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Sounds good? All right, let's start. Okay, so we're gonna hope I don't fall on my face because it's a little bit slippery outside. So. <laughs> okay, let's warm up those legs. Flex, 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 flex. I want you to go ahead and kind of do a butt kick. You're not, I'm not worried about you actually making contact with your high knee just yet. But just flex those feet. And now I want you to take the left leg, hold it up here, extend behind you, bring it back in and set it down. Same on the right. Push it out, bring it in and set down. Where do you feel that? Glutes? Yes. Squeeze, bring it in and set it down. Give me a couple more. Good, two more. Out, in, one more. Out, and in, good. Now you're gonna bring them up to the front, almost like you're doing a high knee, but we're not jumping. Good, give me four more. Three more, two more. Last one, now you're gonna do a similar thing. You're gonna take it up, push it out, bring it in, set it down. So a slow motion kick, good. Keep that core engaged. Belly button is drawn in. Trying to get that frame warmed up. Good, four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. And down, good. I'm gonna face you now. Open it up nice and wide. Give me a lunge side to side. Awesome work. So we're just gonna start here for now. You're up nice and high. We'll take it down a little bit lower. And then as we get down to the lowest part, that's where you'll reach for your toes and start that cross body motion. All right, bring those arms to your knees. So you're at your forearms to the knees, forearms to the knees. Good, so you're obviously lower now than you were just a moment ago. Three, two, one, before we keep going, I want you to think about this. Take the outside of your elbow to each knee. So now you're adding in that rotation. Good. Awesome. Four, three, touch those toes. Take it all the way down. There, we worked our way right down the ladder, didn't we? Good work. Five, four, three, two, last one. Awesome job, walk those feet together, good. Now we're going into a high knees, basic high knees here. We're gonna run through a quick rotation. High knees, jacks, butt kicks. High knees, jacks, butt kicks. Are you ready? Here we go. In three, two, one, give me four. Four, three, two, four jacks. Four, three, two, four butt kicks, four, three, back to knees, four, three, two, now jacks, four, three, two, now butt kicks, four, three, two, back to knees, four, three, two, jacks, good, butt kicks, one more time, up, 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 and jacks. Good work, and butt kicks. And walk it out, good. Come 
down to a basic pogo. You're gonna see this later today, one leg at a time. Yep, see this is easy. You can do this all day long, right? We're gonna move to singles. So here, I'll give you double single, double single. Boom, 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 boom. Dance it out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yep, good. Five, four, three, two, one, and you're done. Good job, okay. So, very first exercise, easy as pie, jumping jacks, 10, Take a break, 20, take a break, 30 break, 40 break, 50, done. Okay, jumping jacks, easy as can be. All right, here we go. Basic jacks, three, two, one, let's do it. Four, three, two, and one, take a break. I really want you to take that break. Remember, the first few breaks feel like unnecessary. But I have Claudia's here, yay! Glad to have you, baby. Moving into 20, three, two, one, go! Four, three, two, and one, take another break. Now your timing might be different than mine, so I wanna make sure that we give time for everybody to catch up with all of them, okay? Moving into 30, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Good job, we're over halfway. associate just to do the counting for me and be like Jessica stop stop what you're doing stop you're done I will not go down in history as the woman who could count and teach at the same time okay here we go 50 three two one let's do it numbers of reps from me you're welcome but if you don't have music on it could sound a little bit lonesome so you may want to have music on I do have some but it's not real high um, so we're gonna move into sit-ups I want you to do full sit-ups I'm gonna grab my weight you do not need one okay so what about me full sit-ups if you are used to doing sit-ups in um, butterfly position, like for bar class, you can go ahead and do that as well, but I'd like you to switch halfway through so that you can move into a full leg um, sit-up. So your legs will be straight out in front of you, arms above your head, whether you have a weight or not, 
Pull it all the way up. Join me one vertebrae at a time until you come to the top. Roll it back. Back is in the seat. These are going to be slow. So y'all, we're going to be here for a while. We have a lot of these to do. I might take a jumpy jack break. Now, I don't want these to be fast. They should be slow. Okay, I'm at nine. This is 10. Okay, I'm gonna pause here to talk to you for just a second. We're gonna go on to 20. The sit-ups take such a long time and your heart rate comes down so much lower. But I think what I'm gonna do, I'm calling an audible. We'll do the 10s, 20s, and 30s. Then we're gonna wait. We'll do a different exercise that's higher with cardiovascular. Then we'll come back to do the 40s, another cardio and then back for 50, okay? So we're gonna go on to 20s now. Here we go, just be prepared to be still for a little while. <laughs> Thanks, JK. You're at 20. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Roll that spine all the way up and roll it all the way down. Keep it in a C formation in both directions. <laughs> that will assist you in what you're doing. The top vertebrae should not necessarily come all the way down to the floor. Good. Now, these just take such a long time. I'm just at 10. All right, you should just be right around there too. You are laying all the way down, the arms coming above your head as you lay down. And then you bring them up in front of you to help pull that spine up off the floor, bone by bone. And 10, okay, that's 20. So we're still gonna do our 30s before we move on. If you were using weight, maybe you're starting to feel it in your arms a little bit. What we wanna do is really get those abs feeling fatigued before we say goodbye to them for the time being, okay? Y'all ready? So if you were in butterfly, move your legs out straight. If you were straight, let's put them up in butterfly, okay? We're gonna challenge ourselves here, here we go. 30 of them. Off we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Activated. 
Okay, here's where we are next. If you want to hold a weight in your hand to make it harder, you can. I want you to take that right leg back behind you, come down into a lunge and kick it forward. Lunge and kick, lunge and kick. Now, these are one to one. So it's five on the right, five on the left at first, 10, 10, 15, 15, you know the drill. So we're at 10. Five on the right, five on the left. Here we go, take it down. Boom, boom, boom. I don't have to say boom every time. As soon as you get done with five, switch. Good work. Okay, that's 10. So you're already resetting. Get your body used to what this is gonna feel like. You're on to 10 on each side, because we're at 20. Are you ready? Let's do it. You're gonna feel this in your, in your glutes by the time we're done. Woo! Good, 10 per side. So then we're moving into that 20. Get that leg up there. Flick that foot out. Knee comes up. Leg flicks out, heel flicks out. Good. And that's 20. If you wanna make this an active rest, you just sort of jog in place. You can make it a full rest or make it an active rest. That's up to you. Moving into 30. Almost there, five more seconds. All right, 15 on the right, 15 on the left. Let's go. Woo. I'm falling. Finding that point of stability is half of your exercise. Don't give up on yourself as you do this lunge. You are not just tapping behind you. You are actually lunging. I'm gonna do my other side now. Let me show you what I mean. You're not just tapping and kicking. All right, that's cute, but it's not what we're doing. Sit down. Every one of these should come all the way down so that you're 90 degrees for each leg. That button I need to touch here. All right, moving into 50. Ready? It's gonna be 25 per leg. See, I'm not even jumping and I'm out of breath. Okay, you should be getting that full range of motion in there. Get the heart rate up, okay? You feel that in those quads? Glutes starting to warm up a little. We got it, 25 per leg, right leg. Here we go. Pull that leg all the way up. 
kick it all the way out. Give yourself um, that full range of motion. Make sure that you know that you can do this and get everything you can out of this. Don't give up, I want to see you moving down. Always thank your muscles for helping you out. Well done, guys. Okay. Whew. We're gonna do one more before we head back to those sit-ups, okay? Get that right leg warmed up. Pogo, right leg only. We'll come back to pogo on the left later. So you're gonna be here, single leg hops. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Three, two, one, ten hops. That's it, ten. That's it, just ten. You gonna take a quick, quick, quick break. We're gonna go into twenties. Here we go. Twenty. Woo! Awesome. Twenty, that's it. Every time, roll out that ankle. 10, after 10, it seemed like an unnecessary break. After 20, we're ready. After 30, we're really moving. Here we go into 30. Come on. Good. And that's it, 30. Roll out that ankle, moving into 40. Then we're gonna go back to sit-ups. Here we go, 48. Woo! Feel that in your foot? Are you feeling that in the foot? Top of your foot? Is it just me? Thanks for the loving hearts. I appreciate it. I love them. Thank you guys. Okay. 50, here we go, three, two, one. Woo! Nice. Woo! And 50, boom, boy, that goes fast. That goes so much faster than sit-ups. When you're done, put that toe on the ground, roll the ankle. Roll it on out, roll it on out, I hate to tell you. Moving back to sit up, so let me check these messages real quick. Okay, I can't show you squats right now, Wayne, but I'll show you after, okay? If you wanna hang out, I'll show you after we're done. Sound good? All right, Peter, good to have you here, thank you. Moving into 40 sit-ups, 40 sit-ups, okay? Thanks for that. All the way down, all the way up. These will take an eternity, let's go. Come on, push, push, now. The minute you pull your knees up off the floor, you're adding speed into it because you don't have to work quite as hard. You don't have to be quite as deliberate about what you're doing. So you want to. So the minute those knees come up, you don't have to think as much. Pull those heels out so your feet are flexed and your knees are flat against the floor. I'll show you the difference in just a second.
Nice. Pull it all the way up, guys. Nice work. Okay, this one is number 20. We're right here at number 20. So go ahead and pull those knees up, not all the way as you would do like what we did in elementary school, basic sit-ups. Out in front of you, about 45 degrees, heels are on the floor, toes are up. Do the rest here, and you can feel the difference right away, how much faster it goes. So that's why I always have you do straight leg, because I want you to be more deliberate about the work that we're doing. That's it, 30. You can leave them here or you can put your legs straight out again. I will put mine back out. That allows you to go a little bit further on that reach. Exhale on the way up. Right now, all right, I got some notices. Let me see what's happening. All right, sounds good, thank you. Okay, let's see. All right, okay, just checking on all my messages real quick. Okay, as soon as you're done, I'm gonna wait for my Zoomers to come back up. When they're done, we'll move into Pogo on the left. But I will wait for you. I'm not in a hurry, I'm here to serve. There's Ren, hi Ren. All right, <clears throat> let's see. I think most people are there. All right, let's go back into Pogo. Oh, I got a heart, thank you. Left leg, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Left leg only, ready? Here we go, three, two, one, let's do it, 10 bounces. Good, that's it, you already have to take a break. Just that fast, don't worry, it'll be quick. Moving into 20, thanks guys. Three, two, one, thank you. <laughs> All right, good. And 20, okay, good. Now, you may notice that the left leg is stronger or weaker than the right. I want you to notice that in your own body. Moving on to 30, here we go. Good. And 10, good, that's 30 already. Great calf exercise. Perfect opportunity to work out that calf. All right, moving into 40. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Nice job. At 40. Perfect. Calf feeling it. Foot feeling it. Ankle might be feeling it. Your quad, your knee, your hip, depending on which part of your body needed this the most. All right. 50 is the, is the, is the last one. Then we're gonna rotate through it. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's do it. Nice. Rotate that ankle. Good work and push through the calves. Nice job. So I felt that one more in my calf. The other one I felt in my foot. You never know, right? Never know. Okay. So, all right, we have another one we're gonna do before we hit um, those, those 50s on the sit-up. So, <clears throat> you're gonna be in plank the whole time. Does that tell you? Where I want you to be is to tap out to the right and then bring it back in. In as much as you can make it a slide, in as much as you can slide that leg out and back without lifting and lowering it, 
That's where I want you to be on this one. The reason for that, you use a much different um, focus of muscles when you slide it than when you lift and lower. When you lift and lower, you're adding in those glutes and you're taking out some of the work on your abductors and adductors. So in as much as you can slide it, do that. These again are one to one, so it'll be five per side for the tens, 15, 20, you know how it goes. I, where I'm located, can't go too far out on the left, so I'm gonna be just doing halfsies on the left. Okay, you can either do high plank or a low plank. I'll do both just to show you what it looks like. Let's start with 10, five on each side. Keep that rump down. You wanna be in a nice plank. Good, and you get to take a break. So, though we'll be in plank the whole time, you get to take that break in between. Moving on to 20. Ready? Here we go. 10 per side. And other side. Good. You may find that in your plank you round out your shoulders. If so, think about trying to press that chest towards the floor and pulling your scapula back towards each other. Beautiful. Okay, going into 30s, I'll go down on my elbows just to get that variation for you guys. All right. Ready? 15 per side. Here we go. Pull those scapula back if you're rounding your shoulders. As you're done, take a quick break, going into those 40s, so 20 per leg. This time, take the time to think about the distance that you're traveling with that leg. Instead of just speed, taking it out and in, see how far up can you bring it before you bring it back down, okay? So, 20 per leg, moving into 40. All together, here we go. Three, two, one. How far up can you bring it? should be down. Now, if you need, if you need to take a second to reset yourself before you move on to the other side, go ahead and do that because you want to have nice good form as you go into both sides. shoulder blades pulled back exhaling as you go and one more thing when you're in plank position if you're pulling your head down to look at your belly button you're rounding your back try to keep your head focused in front of you okay here we go 25 per leg off we go Excellent. 
and K. When you are done, come into child pose. Good work. Roll it back up. I'll grab my water. Okay. So I don't want to go into quite into uh, abs just yet since we were just down doing abs. Now let me check this real quick. Um, okay. What you're gonna do here? You're gonna give me a jump. Jump, front lunge, jump, front lunge. Each one is one. So you're at 10, 20, 30, we're at 50. One to one, but jump up in between. You ready? Right leg is first. Three, two, jump first, jump. All the way down. touches the floor or in as much as you can okay if you're on like concrete I don't want you to smash your knee into the floor so don't pretend you're on concrete just so you don't have to do it okay okay moving into 20 here we go 10 per leg Okay, that's 20. This is gonna feel like yucky when we're done. Okay? 30 coming up. 15 per leg, ready? Three, two, one, let's do a jump first. All the way down. Give me a jump. It doesn't have to be a mega jump. jumping rope. David's jumping rope. Okay. Ready for 40? Jello legs. 40. Take breaks when you need them so you can get that form right where you want it. Three, two, one. Here we go.
Okay, that's halfway. Take a shake up break, because you want to go strong, okay? Sometimes you need to let your legs reset. Shake it out, then finish. Never be afraid to take a break if it gets you going back stronger than you were when you took it. stars oh my stars okay y'all I didn't have a whole lot to say that's 40 <laughs> okay my zoomers are like this we have 50 we have to do 50 we have to do it we have to do it which means we can do it come on all right shake them out get that blood flowing back to them because you got to work them hard 50 50. Ready? Three, two, one, let go. Okay, that's 25, taking a shake out break. Told you, don't be afraid to take a break. I'm doing it. Set an example for taking a break. That's what I'm doing. 25 more. Hot dog, here we go. Sit-ups. We're gonna go ahead and finish those sit-ups. Run through the 50s. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> That's true, isn't it? Um, okay. I'm gonna sit down. So apparently there's a garbage truck that decided our house is its home, and it's noisy. Okay. 50. 
Let's do straight legs to begin with. Then I tell you what, we'll do straight legs, butterflies, and we'll do knees up. Let's look to my cue. 50 of them, here we go, nice and tall. Okay, I want you to go to 15. I'm just a 10, I've got five to go before you change format. Once you hit 15, I want you to pop those knees up. So this 15 for me, so I'm gonna come back into that 45 degree position with my knees, heels on the floor, toes up. Do 15 here. truck left yay once you hit 15 here then you'll switch to butterfly okay so I've now gotten to 15 here I'm gonna go ahead and pull my feet into butterfly you've got 20 left may as well do them all here butterfly position all the way up guys don't give me crunches get me full Exhale every time you come up. That weight, if you're using it, is going all the way above your head. If you're not using a weight, go ahead and pull your arms all the way up till your, finger, your thumbs touch the floor. Ten more. Then we're done with sit-ups, yay. What you did 150 50 yeah. mm -hmm. that's right 150 boom amazing we are okay so here are let's see I'm not gonna have time to do them all so I want to pick I want to pick the one that I like the most I like them all so I don't want to do shoulders we're gonna take the weight in the center you get this is the one where I said you're gonna want it for one weight it's going to be right underneath you here. What I want you to do, come down into squatted position, come up on those tiptoes, set down, and then stand up with, this, with the weight. Two options. This is your base movement. Tiptoes, pull up. That's your base movement. The other option is to go tiptoes, jump, okay? You can pick the one that you need right now. If you want cardio, you do the second version. If you want to do a little bit more strength work, you do the first. I'll vacillate to show you the difference, okay? So I'm gonna face the side to start so you can see where I want your body. Are y'all ready? 10 at first, here we go, three, two, one. Down, tiptoes, up, squat. I said it wrong, didn't I? Let me do it again. Tiptoes, pull it up, there we go. Tiptoes, pull it up, that's it, there we go. Three, tiptoes, Okay, 
Okay, so whose quads already feel that? Already, just on 10. After all the quad work we've done already, this is gonna be a big, big challenge. I think we can do it. No, I know we can do it. Okay, I'm gonna face the front this time. 20. Ready? Here we go. Tiptoes, pull it up. Tiptoes, up. Huh. It's only 10. Oh my goodness. Hamstrings feeling it. Glutes feeling it. Upper legs just kind of tired at this point. exercises I was looking at was hamstring walkouts and I decided to do this one instead which makes me happy because I'm feeling it in my hamstrings and the bottom part of my glute. How about you? You too? All right we have 30. Well we're gonna be glad when this is over today aren't we? Okay look at how much work we're doing without high impact today. Can you believe it? 30 let's do it! Tiptoes, then you grab the weight. Tiptoes, then weight. Oops, dropped it. sort of at 45 degrees. I forgot to mention, I'd like to see you do that too. That way you can squeeze those adductors as you come up, okay? So just take a, a second to notice where my toes are and that I'm really trying to squeeze those adductors together when I stand. Get that butt back as you squat down. It's going back behind you so that those knees stay behind your toes. That's 30. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna grab my water. Okay, if you had your feet facing forward and then moved them to that 45 degree position, did you notice a change in what you were feeling? When they're facing forward, you're really more quad and hamstring centered. When you face out to the side, you still have that hamstring, but you're adding in the adductor. So I do want your toes facing 45 degrees out. Y'all, I had some music, but oh well. Okay, because they believe in us, we gotta get this done. We don't have a whole lot of time left. 40, 40 repetitions. We'll take a break at the halfway point. Here we go, let's do it. Woo! Now, why do I have you set the weight down in between? It's because I wanna make sure that you are coming all the way down to the floor. Watch those knees, are they behind your toes? Are your scapula pulled back so that you're not rounding out that back?
Okay, that's halfway, so I'm gonna stop for just a second. Shake out break, shake it out. I'm keeping my feet on the floor because I want him to stay in action. Ready? Here comes the rest, let's do it. Okay, time to go, come on. And we have one more set, oh my gosh. Don't give up guys, don't give up. If I could do it, you can do it. Oh, okay, we only have one more set and our time is running thin, so. We're gonna do it, and we're gonna not care about that 10.30 mark. We may have to go to 10.32, but we can do this. Shake it out because your legs have just enough left in them to get this work done, and then go for a run. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, make sure those knees stay behind your toes. Watch that lower back, keep your scapula squeezed together, pull the belly button in, butt goes way, way, way back. All the things you need to think about. So many of the things. But that's what makes a successful squat. Here we go, ready? Take it down, three, two, and one, you got it. We'll take a break at halfway. Get that butt back. Nice. Good job, guys. Hmm. Curl all the way up on those tiptoes. It says it's 10.30 and we say, I don't care. I don't care. I have 25 more to do and then I'll care. 25 more. Here we go. We can do this. Let's knock it out. Push those hips forward every time you stand up, but don't arch your back. Sit all the way down. Are you getting all the way down? Or are you giving up on that distance? I see a couple more to go. A couple more. Oh, that was tough. That was definitely tough. I did not expect that. But it's nice to have my heart pumping and my breath blowing fast, even without us doing 100,000 burpees, right? Every now and then it's nice to do something a little bit different. Okay, let us stretch out these well-worn muscles. Okay, let's start with just in motion. Being in motion, we'll do the arms first because I wanna get those heart rates down a little bit, bring one arm across, let it drop down. And switch sides. Good work, okay. Swing up back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This is now your motion, your feet are stopping moving. 
Go ahead and grab your favorite leg, pull that toe up behind you, drive your knees together, keep your hips forward, squeeze the glutes. Good job. Release and pull it in front of you. Pull all the way back through that hamstring, through your glute, so that you can say, good job, well done, my little muscles, or very large muscles. Put your toe down to the floor. Bend and roll, opposite side. We're not gonna do a whole lot since we're over time here. Pull it out, bring it back. Excellent job. Set that toe down. Roll it in, pull it up, nice and wide now. Lunge to your favorite side. Both toes are facing forward. Now the toe with the, the, the long leg, push it out to the side. Come back to center, opposite side, long leg on one side, bent leg on the other, push that toe out. Back to center, head down to the floor, put your hands on the floor, walk those feet together, pull your rump back and roll it up, one vertebrae at a time. Nice big deep breath. Blow it all the way out. One more. And blow it all the way out. Three things to say. Have a wonderful day is one. Number two, there are still spots open for Saturday. We now have 15 slots available. Woohoo! And then number three, Wayne, message me in just a second so that I can do show you some spots. Okay. Have a good day.